Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show or whatever we call the series. But uh, this time uh, I'm here with Sarah and we're going to talk about something really, really cool again for SharePoint portals. But let's first start with Sarah with an intro. Who are you and what do you do for Ling and what is the feature we're going to show or see today? Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Uh, I'm Sarah. I am a PM on the Pages team. Um, and today we are going to be showing you design ideas. So this is a much, much anticipated feature where it'll take the content that you already have on your page and suggest ways that we can make it better. So we're ramping up right now to our V1 release. Um, so we're going to walk you through what we got and what's coming here. So that's, is that just before we go to the demos, uh, not going to tease out too long the intro, but is this the same feature what we have in the PowerPoint with the design ideas? So it's very similar. So it was inspired by that, but it does do things differently than PowerPoint does because we're working on a section level and not on a slide level. So it's it's a similar way of taking your content and rearranging it, but there's an there's a secret like SharePoint twist to it that makes it a little bit more unique. Cool. And then a final question before we go to the demo. Uh, we're probably using some sort of an AI thing behind of the scenes and a super cool copilot and and you know our computer science. How does it work? <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Uh, so how does it work? So what we do is we look at the current section that we're in. And if we recognize the content that you have, and we can use it to suggest new images for you, suggest background images, or suggest different ways to lay out the content you already have. So if you started writing a paragraph about puppies, for example, if you opened up the design ideas panel, it might show you pictures of dogs that you might want to add that would go with your content. Um, oh. So we're on the back end, we're summarizing the text that you have to, to pull the most appropriate images, either in the background or foreground to go with it. That sounds really exciting. Let's, let's have a look on this in practice so that everybody understands what, what are the capabilities in V1, because this is the first version, right? V1, yep. Plenty yes. to come. All cool. right. Let's have a look on this. So if you can see my screen now, so here I am in a, a news post and here's my section. I've got a text web part and I've got an image right here. And then I can see over on the panel, I have design ideas with a little red dot next to it. And so that indicates that there are design ideas available for the section I'm currently working on. So I'm going to click into that. They're going to load up. And here you can see a number of different ways that I can take my existing section and then rearrange the image and text. So I can load up some more. And so the, these are all changes that I can apply to my current section. So I'm going to go ahead and select, let's do this one. So here, what Design Ideas has done, it's taken my section content, it's added uh, different text formatting, it's added a shape to my image, and it's added a background gradient. Um, so this is, all of these are different ways that I can organize this section. You can see in this one, we've removed the image, we've rearranged the text, and we've put a background image in place. Um, and it doesn't just work for, it works for a number of sections. So if we go here to where I have two text web parts, you can see now we're suggesting images based on the content that you currently have. So this is where it starts to get really cool. So we're suggesting images and we're rearranging. So this section's about volunteers. So I'm going to click on this suggestion. And you can see that it's added images of volunteers to my page. Now, if you already have the same number of text web parts as you do images, we don't recommend more images for you because you've, you've already got what like a good configuration and a good balance going. But we will still recommend different ways to configure them, different backgrounds, and different font stylings as well. So yeah. here we go to this one, which resizes them a little bit. Um, and then let's go down to this one at the bottom. If you just have text as well, um, we'll go ahead and suggest images for it, but we also just suggest backgrounds. So if you want to add an image, you can. If you're sort of happy with it, with what you've got, you don't have to. And there it is right there. So uh, cool. yeah, that's that's the basic design ideas. And, and of course, all of these are ideas. You said 
I, I don't think that was intentional. I said recommendations. They're not really recommendations. They're kind of an ideas and inspiration for the writer, right? Uh, or... Sure. Yeah. No, inspiration is a great way to put it. Um, so we're we're, yeah. we're not the one important thing to note about design ideas is we're not changing your written content. You know, yeah. we we might reformat it, we might move it around a bit. We're not going to change it. And another important thing to note is we're not going to suggest written content for you either. So if you just have an image. We're not going to say, here's the text that should go with it. Um, yeah. so, what, so what we're doing is really helping you accentuate what you already have. We're not necessarily saying you should write this instead. Exactly. Exactly. Made perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. And also all of these are starting points. So you can start further adjusting them and, and do adjustments directly within a page. So you can take a design idea and be like, no, I want to adjust the font or I want to adjust uh, still a background or background section, but background, for example, you can go and change that. So they're not locked at all. No. And actually that's a good thing to note. So say I'm on my section right here, here's my background image. Um, I can go and configure my different settings. I can make it lighter. I can make it darker. Inspiration. There want. we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can do whatever I want to this. Um, and yeah. so then when I go, let me click so to this one. Let me click back over. If I go back to design ideas, let's get it reloading. It's loading. So these are these appear to still be the last ones, but it should update with what you have based on the changes that you've just made. So once you add a design idea to your page, it's your your own user content. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's a template. It's kind of a section template idea, as or yeah, design idea. That's I think that's the, that's the feature name. Yeah. <laughs> design now, ideas is one the question feature, related. It is, it is sort of. <laughs> yes. Oh, it is sort of similar to section templates, except instead of just offering a template, we're like, hey, here's what would happen if you put your stuff in it. Correct. Um, Correct. And you can yeah. click through and you can see multiple options before you choose one, as long as you have the panel open. Cool. Really, really cool. And then the final question before we go back on talking about the feature potentially on this feature, uh, all of the pictures what we're seeing here, they are copyright free. So they're basically coming from the stock images, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. All of this is from stock images, copyright free, um, and it's it's included. So we do our best to pull the best matches we can, but there's no uh, problems you'll have to worry about for copyright. Cool. Cool. And, and I think that the, the thing which we already said, but just let me just reiterate that one. You can take a design idea and a template and like you, you had the section background image and then be like, no, we in our company, we have a separate image, but the basic structure is really cool. You can still change that. Yeah. So you get the inspiration out of the, the, the ideas as well. So really, really cool. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Let's actually move back on the, the chatting mode, so to say, uh, and, and move away from the shared screen. So this is a design er design ideas V1. Uh, yes. Anything what we can tease on what's coming in V2, V3, or do we have ideas? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's plenty to tease right now. So in, in the first round, what we're doing is we're suggesting different ways that you can re rearrange your sections that have image and text content. So we're supporting um, between one and three images and text web parts. But cool. moving forward, we want to expand our support to other web parts as well. So you can include other web parts in your sections, and then we can go ahead and we can provide suggestions for that as well. So that's when things are going to get really powerful. Another yes, thing definitely. that we can sort of tease at is moving forward, we're looking to do something we're calling text decomposition. So this is when if you had just like, you just dumped a Word doc in, right? You have all of your stuff in one text web part, what we would do is we'd go through and we'd break it down into to different uh, text web parts within the same section and break it out. Yep. So you yep. can just drop it in and then we can we can change it into a beautiful section for you. Really cool, cool ideas. And, and I can imagine a lot of other stuff as well, which can't talk about it yet. Uh, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's not go to there. Um, now, last time we were, we, when we were in this show or we we're doing the recording, we had a bird drop by. Today we didn't have, unfortunately. I don't think we can we'll get, oh, there we go. 
There's the bird. We got one right here. Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> she she actually she dropped by and she's been hanging out on my finger. Um, okay. But this is Sapphire. Um, she is chewing on my finger right now, but she's doing yep. real good. And then the other bird is taking a nap up there. So I cool. think we're out of luck cool. on that one. <laughs> All good. Really, really cool. Cool to see how the birds are doing as well. But thank you, Sarah, for dropping by. A really cool feature. Uh, I think that's a lot of inspiration for the for the content editors and creators of the content within the SharePoint. So it's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Awesome to see all of this innovation now coming on SharePoint portals. Yeah, absolutely. It's a long time coming, and we're really excited to ship it. Excellent, excellent. And oh, the final question: When is this rolling out? Uh, we are recording this in end of May, twenty twenty four. What's end of the May? Timeline? So this is going to be uh, starting to roll out late June, early July. So we're getting close. There's still a couple of things that we have to to fix up and pin down, but uh, yeah, we can see we can see the finish line here. So cool. uh, very excited. Looking forward. Really cool stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for dropping by. Yeah. Thanks, Vesa. Thank you.